Canva is a total game changer when it comes to creating digital products. With its intuitive interface and endless design possibilities, it's no wonder that people are using Canva to make thousands of dollars per month. Yes, I am not joking, thousands of dollars per month, six figures per year, people are making money using Canva. If you are unfamiliar with Canva, it is a platform that you can design pretty much anything and you don't need any prior knowledge of designing. You don't need a background or skill set in designing. It is so beginner friendly. And if you want some future videos on how to use Canva and especially all these really cool new features they have, let me know in the comments. You can start out completely for free on Canva, but they do have a pro account. And if you want to try out their pro account, you can use the link in my description to get your first 30 days for free. Now I'm going to bust through these ideas. I'm not going to go into detail. You'll be familiar with the ideas that I'm mentioning, but grab a pen and paper or use your notes app in your phone and let me know which products that you think are most interesting or that you would maybe want to create. And then I can go in further detail about those products in a future video, or I might even give you some information as a response to your comment. I want to give you loads of ideas so that you can figure out which ones might be a good fit for you. Some of these could even be paired together in a shop. So just write everything down that you think is interesting and let me know in the comments and then I will go deeper in a future video. Okay, let's get to the first item on the list, which is ebook covers. If you want this to be more passive, you could create templates and people could just fill in their own information, or you could make it more of a service-based business and actually design the covers digitally for your client. Next up is PDF worksheets. A lot of businesses, especially online educators, use worksheets or workbooks for their customers, their clients, etc. And that is something that you could actually create for them. This would definitely be more the template route. You would create a template, sell it to your customer, and then they would be able to fill out the information that is relevant to their business. Next up is YouTube thumbnails. This again could be a template-based business or an actual service-based business. You could sell your services to create thumbnails for a client, or you could actually create thumbnail templates that you could sell on Etsy or other platforms, allowing YouTubers to purchase these templates and be able to use them for their own YouTube channel. Another digital product that you can create is business cards. This is kind of cool because you could actually sell this and promote it locally to local businesses in your area. But of course you could do this online. You would pretty much become your own version of Vistaprint, but you would be selling these digitally where people can print them on their own. Now I'm not going to say this every single time, but just like I've said before, this could be a template based business or a service based business where you're actually personalizing them for a client or doing the template version where you allow them to fill it out themselves and print it themselves as well. Next is presentation. So this would be so easy to create in Canva. You would create a multi-slide presentation template. This is something you could even lump in with some of those other business related things like business cards. Your whole shop could be centered around people who have their own businesses. Everyone has a different styles. So you could create so many different styles of presentation cards and then sell them as a template and allow your customer to change colors and fonts and anything that they want to, but they'll have a really awesome starting point that you sold them. Another one is posters. So these could be educational posters for teachers. They could be inspirational posters like hang in there. These could be posters for events or concerts. And again, you could do these as a template. That way your customer can fill it out themselves and make any changes that they need to, or you can do personalized digital posters as well. And apparently I am going to keep saying it because <laughs> Pretty much all of these options, there probably is a way you can do this as a template or like a service-based business. So I'm, I'm gonna stop saying it, I promise. Next is email newsletters. You might be thinking, how can I create an email as a digital product? But it's not the email itself, it's the assets that people can use in their email newsletter. Nowadays, people are using things like Flowdesk or MailChimp to send out their email newsletter and you would be creating the really nice assets that you see in a lot of these email newsletters, mostly the imagery side of things like banners or images in the middle of the email, things like that. And you could sell all of those as like a little bundle so somebody can purchase that and use it in their email newsletter. Another option is resumes. So if you wanted to create some resume templates that look really nice, are super appealing, you know, could really help somebody land a job, that is an option as well. Number 10 in this list of 30 is Facebook ads. Maybe you just have like an eye for punchy graphics that you can create that will help people get clicks to 
to their products and services. You can create Facebook ad templates and sell them to these people. This is another one of those that you could create in a shop that is directed towards business owners, but Facebook ads are actually really hard to create, especially to make them actually get clicks and look super appealing. There's so many elements that go into creating like an eye-catching clickable Facebook ad or any ad in general, really. So if you feel like you have that skill set, this would actually be super beneficial for a lot of people. I am gonna say it, that you could do these as customized services for people or as a template. Okay, now I'm not gonna say it anymore, I promise. Also, before diving into the next digital product idea, I wanted to let you know of a free digital product idea database that I recently launched. It includes 50 digital product ideas and a lot of tools and resources that you can use to create and sell these digital products. So it's completely for free, like I said, and you can find the link in the description. So the next idea on my list is brochures. So I don't feel like I hear that very often anymore, but people still use brochures in their businesses. So this would be a very easy thing you could create in Canva. Another options is gift certificates. So you could really play this two ways. You could create actual gift certificates for businesses, create tons of design templates for people to use, print themselves, use in their business, whatever. You could also create like fun, cute, flirty ones. A lot of people give these as like Valentine's gifts, like his and her type gifts, gifts to mom, things like that. So feel free to get creative. Another one which I talk about all the time is wall art or art printables or digital art, whatever you wanna call it, but art that people can print off and hang on their walls. And if you want more information about this, I have done loads of videos all about it and I will have them linked in the description for you. It's a really great starter digital product to start creating and selling on Etsy. And I actually have a paid product that can teach you all about it and I'll have that linked below as well. Next up is postcards. Another thing that you don't really hear about very often, but people still use postcards and this would be kind of just like a fun thing to add to an existing shop, especially maybe a shop that's like travel themed. But at the end of the day, tourist type locations still use postcards. So that would be more your target audience. Another idea is event tickets. Anyone that's hosting an event usually gives out tickets, even if they're digital tickets. So you could really do both. You could do like printable tickets that people give people, but you could also do like fun digital tickets that people might send to people via email with like a scan code and things like that. So lots of different options that you could do with tickets. This one is leaning into the social media game. Most of us are on social media if we're trying to build a business and you could really help people with any type of social media like graphics or whatever, but I'm gonna recommend Instagram story templates. My brand is like a personal brand. It's my face, it's my name. But if you're a business that's not really showing your face, it's really difficult to make stories, but stories are one of the best ways to build community on Instagram and really keep your followers engaged. So that is a pain point with a lot of no face businesses. So you could create social media story templates that are meant for businesses that don't show a face. And so really all they have to do is put some information that you're prompting them to put in and then post them on their story. So I think that's a really great idea. And again, would be a great thing to add to like a business themed shop on Etsy. Next on the list is product labels. So pretty self-explanatory. You're just creating cute little designs for products that people would be selling. Your shop could literally be just this with so many different variations of different types of like products or themes like, you know, neutral colors for more of those like organic natural products or pastels for like baby products, things like that. But maybe you have a shop that's for product-based businesses, and that could be something that you sell. Another idea is recipe cards. So I think this is a really fun idea. I know a lot of people nowadays use social media like Pinterest, or even I put things in Notion, like meal planning and recipes and things like that, but people still have written recipe cards. Actually, hold on, just sit right there. Proof that people still use written recipe cards. I even can prove it further by showing you how disgusting this one looks like. But anyway, this is something that people still do, people still use, and you could create a lot of fun designs for people to use for the recipe cards, and then they can just print them off. And it's really nice because once they purchase it, they can just keep printing it. So I would definitely do this on a shop that includes other things too that they might wanna buy, not just these, because once they buy them from you once, unless they wanna change the design, they're never gonna have to buy them again. So sticking with the theme of 
food, you can also create digital menus. Help out those restaurants, create really awesome menu templates and allow people to purchase them, fill out their menu. And it's really nice for those restaurants that actually change their menu quite often because then they'll have a template where they can just easily change the menu and then reprint it every time they need to. Number 20 out of 30, we're getting closer, is album or CD covers. So even though we're in this digital world, literally we're talking about digital products, people still buy CDs and especially like vinyl albums. So this would be a really good one for a shop where maybe you're targeting musicians or bands. We're back to where we started for the last 10 ideas. So the next digital product idea is t-shirt designs or really could be designs for any type of product. So this isn't t-shirts you would be selling. You would actually be creating designs that people could purchase and put on a t-shirt. This can be fun for like family events. A lot of families will have like activities where they want to buy shirts for their family. That would be a potential target audience. Also like businesses that want to create merch for their business or maybe even like influencers wanting to create merch for their brand. You could be designing those as well. Another idea, and this is one that sells really well on Etsy is stickers. People buy stickers for so many different reasons. It could be for their children. It could be for their planner. So lots of different options of different kinds of stickers you could create. You could create individual stickers or sheets of stickers, but a lot of people nowadays will buy these digitally and then use something like a Cricut to cut them out themselves. Another idea are greeting cards. This could be like a birthday card or a father's day card or a mother's day card. So easy to do so many different options. If you had an entire shop that were just cards, I mean, it's endless of the different kinds you could create, need inspiration, go to Target or Walmart and go in their card section, endless amounts of cards that you could create. So going back to social media, you could create YouTube channel art. Let me tell you from experience that creating the banner for your YouTube channel is actually kind of difficult. When you create the art, it has to be able to be seen on TV, on your phone, also on desktop. So there's a lot of design elements that you have to adjust just right to make sure that everything is fitting on all of the different platforms. So if you're willing to learn the skill, a lot of people probably would purchase this from you. Something else that you can sell digitally are courses. And you could go two different ways. You yourself, if you're an educator, you could develop a course and sell it. Or you could have a shop where you're selling the assets for a course, like presentation slides and marketing and workbooks and things of that nature. Another digital product option is bookmarks. So very easy to create in Canva, of course. Course, you would just customize the size to be like the perfect bookmark size. Oh my gosh, again, the design options are endless with bookmarks. Something else that goes with that business theme is logos. Honestly, there's so many people starting businesses that just don't want to even mess with design that's not their expertise. And you could be creating them really cool logo designs using the text and the elements found in Canva. Another option, and I'm just gonna lump a few together, are planners and calendars and notebooks. Anything like that, you can totally create in Canva. One thing that you can create in Canva that I create for myself all the time are mood boards. Mood boards are really helpful for people who are either trying to develop a brand. So maybe they just want a template where they can drop cool images that fit their brand. So they have something to show their team showing kind of the the mood and the vibe of their brand or other people might use them as more like vision boards and want to drop images in there of things that they want to aspire to be or have so they can personalize their desktop or put it on their phone wallpaper and be able to look at it all the time for inspiration. Number 30 on my list is podcast covers. Podcast artwork is something anyone that has a podcast absolutely needs. And a lot of people that are starting podcasts don't know the first thing about designing. So you could offer this as a service or have a digital template that they can use and plug in their own information. I think this is definitely one that you should consider doing because podcasts are booming right now. Now, remember, if you want an in-depth tutorial on any of these digital products, please let me know. If it's not something I really wanna do a video about, I might just respond to you and grab your email and send you like a Loom video showing you how to do it. So don't hesitate to reach out and ask. You can also find me on Instagram and DM me. And also don't forget to grab that database with 50 free digital product ideas. And if you want more ideas, I have tons of videos about digital products and some of them include ideas I've not mentioned today. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye, Interweb Besties.